and you don't have to run out of the house and go, oh my God, did I just leave the straightener on? Hey guys, um, I'm Millie. I'm a part of the customer service team here at Adore Beauty. And we're gonna have a chat about the top 10 hair straighteners today. We're gonna go from number 10 and we're gonna work our way to number one. So at number 10, I do not have it here right now because she is being released very soon and she is the well-awaited Dyson Coral straightener. It's a wireless straightener, a cordless straightener. You can have it for up to 30 minutes without charging. If it is something that you are interested in, get onto Adore Beauty, Dyson Coral, there's a wait list and we will email you as soon as it is up. I cannot wait to put it on my afterpay because she is gonna be well awaited. I guess my number nine, um, and the only reason it's my number nine is because I would use it in conjunction with another straightener, um, is the Cloud9 Micro Iron. She is quite small. I have quite small hands and that is how small she is. So in comparison to say like your normal Cloud9, she's, she's a bit of a baby. But the reason that I love, love, love her is I have quite fine little baby hairs like around my hairline. What I would do is use this little bulb, turn her on, and she's just got a little um, button right here. So it is quite, it is quite small. Um, it is quite compact, but you turn it on, let it heat up. It will actually tell you, it'll give you a little beep beep when it's um, heated up. And then all I would do is go in, get those little baby hairs, so those little fine hairs, and you can really like smooth them over. If you wanna do like a really, really, really tight baby fine curl and you've got a couple like hours on your time you can use this to curl so that's the micro iron she has her place she's not for everyone but she is a really 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 great addition for those with fine hair sometimes those with super thick hair and you know you get those little bits where you can't actually get them with a straightener you need something smaller so that's where she comes in my number eight and this is mainly for budget wise like she is budget friendly but you're still getting a top 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 iron it's the silver bullet keratin ceramic straightener um it is a little bit like bulkier i guess in your hand she's not heavy by any means but it's just a little bit heavier than some of like the newer models on the market super user friendly so to turn it on all you really need to do is there's a little dial kind of in here and you can change the settings. There is a time and a place to use a straightener on a top or higher level kind of heat. But for the majority of the time, I would always suggest low and slow. So go lower. And then if you find that you need to do it a little bit higher, you can. Number seven. This is one that I kind of want to show you guys how to use. And I want to show where and, and the kind of effect you can get. Because I think some people get a little bit scared about white irons. It is a cloud nine. Um, so with all of like the Cloud9 originals, they do come with this little high-low temp and a little on-off button. So you would switch up, switch it on, and then on the other side, it has these little green lights. I'm just going to boost it to the next one up, which is 185. So it actually has seven different like temperatures you can get. It heats up quite quick and you can start to feel it. So once it stops flashing, that's when you know she's ready to go. I always try to resist the urge and I don't know why we do and I bet some of you do it, but I always have to fight the urge like a straightener with tongs and be like, she's ready to go. I don't know why. I know that some of you do it too. Let me know if you do. If you've got finer hair and you know you don't need to take small sections, amazing. If you've got thicker hair and you wanna cut down on time, this is absolutely incredible. I'm just gonna take a bit of a section here and then all I'm gonna do is kind of gather the hair Pop the iron on and you can kind of just smooth, smooth it over. And you see pretty much instantly that all that like excess frizz gone and super easy in like bigger sections. Say if you want to do a beachy wave, right? And she's a bit fluffy. This is probably second or third day hair. A lot of dry shampoo in here though. The easiest way to do a bit of a wave too, twist. And then if you twist out, it kind of does the work for you. So you can see you get that really soft, beautiful, like bit of a beachy, kinky-esque wave. It's great for people who don't like that curl. And again, twist away from the face and all you have to do is kind of let the iron do its work itself. It looks really cute. It does, thank you. I know, I always love it. I always forget how much that I love it until I'm like, ooh. What I'll do is do a bit of a demo as well with one of the smaller irons and you can kind of see the wave that they create. So we'll continue on with our list. Number six, Hot Tools. So Hot Tools are kind of one of those brands that 
I guess not not many Australian people know about or you know it's only really industry people. Hot tools is kind of like the equivalent to GHD in the US. Like it's just a standard. Everyone's like, yep, it's great if you need anything that works, that's incredible, that's really budget friendly. Hot tools are amazing. And I find them like super, super, super cute. There's like a little purple accent. You've got the little gold plates. It's a really great intro to salon quality irons um, because they're not gonna break your bank. I know that some, some straighteners are a bit of an investment and they do last for a while, but these are incredible. It's just got a little on off button and then of course your hot cold um, changing the temperature and then that temperature gauge will come up here. Their plates are a little bit longer than say your um, silver bullet or your more traditional one. It's only, you know, very, very minuscule amount. That's actually really nice to create a longer kind of curl. The next one, it's the GHD Original Professional. We don't have it here with us in the office. The main difference from the GHD Gold, its width is actually a little bit thinner. So it doesn't have this little gap here. It's just a little bit sleeker. So you can get a tighter curl and it's why it's one of my favorites. So it was my absolute baby when I was in the salon. So if I had to do a bride's hair, if I had to do someone who's going out, if I had to do my own hair, my own hair, it's a bit finer. Um, sometimes can be a bit finicky. I would use the GHD Professional Styler because it's that little bit smaller so you can get that tighter wave. The next one. I'm sure that you've seen it while browsing online if you've, if you've been into the Adore Beauty Straightener category. And I'm sure you've looked at it and gone, what the hell is that? Why is it so big? Why is it so bulky? Who needs a straightener that is that big? And what is this thing? This was kind of like one of the first of its kind. If I want the smoothest, the silkiest, the soft to touch hair, I still wish that I had a steam pod. They're bringing out another model, which is a little bit more sleeker. Um, this model is the second version of it. Anyone with super frizzy hair or really thick hair, you don't have heaps of time, this is gonna be your best friend. So the most important thing to know is that it is connected kind of like an iron, I suppose. It's kind of like a hair straightener iron, I guess. In this little toggle here is actually water. So you can see it kind of sloosh slopping around. This actually has, it has little suction cups so it doesn't go anywhere. The reason why it's a little bit lower too, my only concern with this one, um, the cord is a little bit shorter than your normal like straightener cord. And then because there's two cords, they can get a little bit tangled. This one does have a removable tooth as well. So if you hold it up, you can actually pull that little teeth out. So sometimes you can find that you don't really need this or your hair might be a little bit finer, but I find it's really, really, really great. So that just clicks back in there. It's got a little on off toggle here. This bit lights up so you can see that it is working. It's on, it doesn't make any noise or anything like that. So when it turns on, it's at um, 200 degrees. The great thing about this one, you can take a lot larger sections and do more hair in less time. The steam pod, obviously by name, it's gonna be using steam to straighten the hair. So that's how it gets really smooth, silky results. It's not like a normal straightener where you can just kind of whiz over and it's done. Low and slow. Hold it over the hair and then you can hear it working. And then just super slow. Honestly guys, this on the ends is amazing. It actually sounds like, an, like a clothes iron. It does sound like an iron and it does like the first time that we kind of, when we used it on people in the salon, they'd be like, what are you using on me? And then you can see it's just super, super duper smooth. The main difference of it too, because you're actually sealing the hair with water, when it's humid outside or when it's raining, your hair looks for water. So that's when you get that real frizz. So that's technically what frizz is, is your hair wanting water so it elevates and expands, it wants moisture. That's how to kind of combat it. If you were to use the steam pod and it's super hot or it's steamy or it's humid or it's a bit wet outside, it's actually gonna repel the water. If you've got like thick, curly, coarse hair and you want that wave, but you don't wanna have to take the time where you have to straighten your hair first and then do a wave, the barrel's a bit bulkier, so it's a bit softer. And with the sections, it can be a little bit finicky the kind of first time that you do a wave with the with the steam pod. It just takes a little bit of extra like finesse to kind of figure out how to get comfortable with it going from like your traditional iron to your steam pod. Moving on to our top three. Coming in third is the 
GHD Gold Professional Iron. She's gonna do every single thing that you want her to do and she's super, super, super easy set at 185. As with all GHDs, um, you've just got the one button to press. So you hold that down for a couple seconds and then it will beep when it's ready, when it's hot. She's at a great price range. If you've kind of had an iron and you're like, yep, cool, I'm using it. I want to step up. I want to use something that's a little bit better, but I don't want to break my budget. This iron is incredible. Really a great all-round straightener for everyone. It's perfect. Coming in at number two, the one that I have at home, it is the GHD Platinum. It comes in two different colors, which is super snazzy. If you're super sleek and can handle having a white iron, it gives you that option. I myself know that I would end up with makeup or foundation or something on it. So I went for the black. The reason why I really, really, really like this iron, A for one, it's got a really cool little swivel. So it means that if you want to do a wave or anything, you don't have to worry about your cord getting tangled. Sometimes cords can tangle. Obviously it's going to happen. They do, but it actually can cause damage in the long run. It's got this little wishbone um, toggle here. So it's just more ergon ergonomic for your hand. It's nice to hold. It's very sleek. Um, it feels really luxe. It feels really nice in your hand. And then the really, really, really top point with the GHD Platinums, and particularly the Platinum Plus, which is the newer version, it will be able to tell, which I still don't get how, and the scientists maybe can come into the comments and let me know how you think it does it. It changes its hair type depending on how damaged and how fried your hair is. It will look after your hair to the top degree. Say if you wanted to do a bit of a wave, so I like to take thinner kind of section. So for like a more beachier kind of wave, you can see that you can see like through the hair. So I'll take that, I'll twist backwards. So always away from the face and then just twist up. And then I give it a bit of a switch. So you can see that you can get like quite a tight curl. That will drop fairly well for me. Actually, to be honest, if I'm using my platinum or if I'm using a cloud nine, my hair just holds. I'm not sure why. Some sort of magic about the plates, it holds. Even if you just want to straighten. It just has a really, really nice finish. It gives that bit of shine. It gives that bit of a movement. Give it a bit of a, a bit of a twist. Work it outwards. Give it a bit of a, a bit of a shave one day. Twist once and kind of pull downwards instead of around and see how it's like super soft. So you can kind of get that really tight curl or you can get that really like soft, super sleek wave. The GHD Platinum Plus, if you have fairly damaged hair, if you team this with a really, really, really great heat protector, it's amazing. It's specifically made for people with damaged hair because sometimes when your hair's a bit damaged, she gets a bit scraggly. She doesn't maybe look her best all the time. So you wanna give her a little bit of a boost. And that's where this one comes in. My number one, drumroll please. My number one styler or my top 10 straightener here in Adore Beauty. It's actually a tie. Sorry, I couldn't choose between them. It is the Cloud9 original, but the reason that it's tied is because there's the touch iron, which doesn't have an on off toggle. And then the original C9 styler which has the traditional on off toggle and the changing of the buttons here. You still get the same incredible results. Everything is silky, everything is soft, everything is just, oh, chef's kiss, beautiful. The Cloud9 Touch doesn't have any buttons. For the customers who might've accidentally bought the Touch, you've been like, um, how the hell do I turn this on? Super easy. Bit of a tap, you'll see it comes on together. So it has two heat settings, 195 and 165. It's red right now, which means that it's on the hot earth setting, which is 195. It also has a cooler setting. So technically 165 is perfect for straightening. 195 should be perfect for curling or doing, you know, a bit of more of a hot style. Sometimes if you have that more natural hair, it can take a little bit of a higher heat um, for like more blondes, damaged hair. I would always suggest a lower kind of heat. Holding it together is <laughs> apparently the way it works. So it's got a little blue toggle right here, which says that it's on 165. It will flash until it goes steady. And that's when it reaches its prime temperature. And it does need to be plate to plate for it to touch. So it's not gonna change or turn off when it's in the hair, which is what's really great. So you can see that gives you a really nice, silky smooth finish. Say you wanna curl. Flip it to 195. It's a little bit small, like it's not bulky and it's a bit smoother and you can get a really nice wave and a really nice um, curl with it. And I find that the plates are also super, 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 like they're not super long and they're not super short. So they really are that perfect in between. 
like a bit more of a wave rather than a curl and it's just super silky and it's like a perfect like a wave so once that's cool i would obviously run my hands through it give her a bit of a shake give her some spray the main reason why i chose the cloud nine originals and the touch their finish is just picture perfect shine perfection also guys if the straightener how it turns off i think it's 15 to 20 seconds if it hasn't had any hair contact, it will turn on, but it's really easy, obviously, just to turn it back on. So that's the great thing. You don't have to run out of the, you don't have to run out of the house and go, oh my God, did I just leave the straightener on? If you want the Cloud9 styler, the only slight negativity is the price. It's $340. I know that's not in everyone's budget. I know that even for myself, I'm like, ooh, not quite in my budget yet. When I do decide to upgrade, it's gonna be the one that I'm gonna go to because it's an investment. Cloud9 Touch is slightly cheaper. So if you don't mind having to get used to, I guess, a new way of turning on your straightener and a new way of changing the temperatures, but you're wanting an amazing finish and not wanting to break the bank, Cloud9 Touch, give it a go. All right, guys, so that's pretty much my top 10. But if you disagree, if you think, um, you know what? No, this should be your number one or, oh, that should be higher. Let us know in the comments. If you have any straighteners that you're like, um, this didn't get a hit, let us know. Hit us up. If you like this video, like, subscribe, hit the bell for those notifications so you get to know when we release new content. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. My children. Any who's it?